I came across this article. Look, and I knew it was cringe. We're not gonna, I know I, I talk pol politics from time to time, but this one, it, it has to be covered since it's also in pop culture. Okay, I came across this article. It comes to us from Bleeding Cool. It says, Supernatural slash The Boys, Jensen Echoes, set for geeks and nerds for Harris. All right, uh, Supernatural stars Misha Collins and Jensen Echoes from The, uh, from the Boys. Confirmed that Echoes is joining Geeks and Nerds for Harris and Waltz on September 24th, which is tomorrow. Co-coordinators Sabrina Cartan and Linda Carter, who has played the OG Wonder Woman, put the word out and have been grinding it out ever since. And this Tuesday, September 24th, we get to see their vision of Geeks and Nerds for Harris come to life to take part uh, so to take part, folks just need to head on over to the main website and RSVP that you're joining the cause and it's free. A three hour program that will feature America's geek icons and their fans exploring how the themes of our collective personal stories and experience connect with Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walls sense of unity and fighting injustice. Uh, just some of the names uh, taking part include Mark Hamill, a fucking course, George Takei, LeVar Burton, Jerry Ryan, Felicia Day, Patty Jenkins, Yvette Nicole Brown, Stacey Abrams. Damn, she can fit in that stadium. Uh, Eric Kripke, of course. Jack Quaid, Aaron Moriarty. As you can tell, a lot of these people are from The Boys. As you, It's 100%. The thing is that The Boys has be, has completely deviated from their original source material. And now it's basically in a uh, bashing Trump, MAGA bad, America first people are bad. It's, it's every one of them. Uh, Chase Crawford, Karen Fukuhara, Laz Alonzo, Valerie Curry, Sean Astin, Andy Merrill, and more. Uh, the list continues to grow as the event, uh, event nears. For example, Supernatural, the boys' fans learned earlier today that Jensen Echols will be taking part during both panels, with Jensen Echols joining Misha Collins in a social media video to make sure everyone knows we've got work to do. You have white dudes for Harris? And geeks and nerds for Harris. This is the most cringest thing ever. Look, it's it's all about oh, it's about the vibes of this. Uh, oh my! People are starving to death. Immigrants are coming here and killing and running over civilians. They're coming. They're they're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. They're eating your pets. Inflation at is it's at is high, all time high. People can barely even buy food. I watched this TikTok video of a guy who bought, who did a reorder from two years ago, found out that there was a 400% increase in an inflation. Tim Walsh came out, I think it was today or yesterday, and said that the fat, the last four years has been a shit show. I'm paraphrasing here. That's the Demo that is the Biden-Harris regime. Okay, and now you have a bunch of these celebrities, adult pretenders, uh, directors, and st fat Stacey Abrams joining this and saying that oh, we're going to vote for Harris and Wallace. God, this God, the, I, the, the. <laughs> it's it's really fucking cringe, man. It's like we've got work to do. And here's the thing. I I never watch Supernatural. I watch a couple episodes in terms of, you know, so that, but I, I don't really consider me watching it. I like Jensen Eccles. Uh, it's just unfortunate that he is um, joining the mind virus, the woke mind virus, and uh, saying that because, uh, you know, he plays the voice of Batman. That, um, he was he was in one of my favorite DC animated movies, uh, you know, Under the Red Hood. He played, um, you know, he played, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Jason Todd. And uh, it's... You know, it's I, yeah, I, I, he's he's a cool dude, man. But now, now, now he is. Oh my god, dude! Oh, it's just okay. You got rep. Okay, okay, okay here it is. Uh, Robert Robert Garcia. Okay, Gail Simone, Linda Carter, Mark Hamill, John Cryer, Tanya Cook, Kayla Joseph, Felicia Day. The uh, and you got uh, uh Misha Collins, Eric Kripke. Senator Cory Booker, of course. Uh, George Takei. Uh, Frank Aconiff. John Fugelslang. Fugelsang? 
Uh, Matthew uh, Madone from Stranger Things. Uh, Mary Trump's nerd Avengers with Mary Trump. Uh, what? Wajahat Ali and Jennifer Taub. I think I say it. Uh, Andy Merrill. Senator Tammy uh, Duckworth, Nancy Altman, and Rachel Miner, uh, Ellie Mistel, uh, Lord of the Rings, and SCOTUS as a Council of Elrond. Oh, that's cringe as fuck. Sean Asson from Lord of the Rings, Kevin uh, Kevin Wu, uh, Dr. Paul Booth, Democrat uh, Abroad, uh, Vote Forward presents uh, Introverts Guides Getting Out to Vote with uh, Jay Quellen Emerson from Hunger Games, Hal Sparks, and John Fugleson again. Uh, from I, uh, I Love the 70s, okay. Uh, it's a musical performance by Huitas and Jessica Carter Altman, Bill Nye, uh, Megan Smith, Yvette Nicole Brown, Andy, uh, Rep Andy Kim, and Rep uh, Wiley Nickel, Stace, uh, Fat Bitch uh, Stacey Abrams, Jonathan uh, Frax, I think I said it, uh, Robert Picardo, Anthony Rapp, Tom Russ, Jerry Ryan, and Wee Wheaton. Uh, and a uh, Big Bang Theory creator Bill Pratty, Patty Jenkins, Linda Carter, and musical performance by Dave Hill. So all of these people are, uh, you know, basically coming out to say, "Don't vote for Trump," is because he says a lot of mean things. Don't vote for JD Vance because he called me a cat lady. So we have, that's, that's, that's a lot of people and a lot of people I don't give a fuck about, but it is without a shadow of that one of the most cringest shit I've ever seen. Like one of the, it's just so, and, and here's the thing, half the, um, the cast of, of uh, what's it called again, uh, of the boys is here. I'm glad Carl Urban is not here. Yeah, Stacey Abram was the president of the Earth. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. She is the size of the Earth. We are revolving around her. No Asians for Kamala? Kamala bailed out a lot of um, rioters and looters. And it so happens, you know, based off empirical data... All, most or all of them are black, right? I'll say let's let's say most of them. Okay, most of them are black. I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all these people are bad guys, but they shouldn't be looting. They shouldn't be rioting. Okay, you can peacefully protest. You can peacefully assemble. I don't care what the fuck you do. Just don't break shit or loot shit. Okay, just don't do any of that. But they did. They robbed, you know, an Apple store. Took a bunch of iPads because they need their because their kids need to eat. Now, as for an Asian person who grew up having his family's supermarket burnt down because of rioters and looters, that is something I am absolutely against, okay? You can peacefully assemble. You can do whatever you want peacefully. Do not break shit, loot shit, beat people up. Do not run up to old Asian people and punch them in the face and then they fall down to hit their hit their head and crack their skull on the side of the pavement and die. Don't do that. You know? Don't do it. But these guys, all of them, probably grew up without a father. Without a father figure. And that's the reason why. That's why there's no Asians for Kamala. I don't care if she's Indian. You think that just because she go to an Indian rally, she talk like this, I'm going to vote for her? You can suck my small pee-pee. You think that Kalama Alex is going to be coming over here and saying that, Oh, you got to vote for me? This shit, the dumb bitch already went around. You know, she go to the black areas and then she said, that, Oh, I'm going to talk like black people. Hello, hello, I'm black now. And then she go down to talk to Latinas, Latinos. She said, Hello, 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 I'm Latino now. And then she thinks she's going to come to my area. She's going to come to my country and say, that, Oh, you got to vote for me? Fuck right off, Kamala Harris. 